What's going on guys? This is Chris back with another video. Hey, we got Captain Steve over, over here. No worries, charters. Say it. No worries. No worries. <laughs> we got Josh, the masked man over here. You already know who that is. Hey, we're going to go out on the water, target some triple tails. Steven said that they're out there. They're ready for us to catch them. Hopefully he's going to put me on my biggest triple tail. Literally only caught like a handful, I think two in my entire life. Never targeted them before. So he's the man that's going to put us on the fish. So let's get to it. I thought that was you can with oh, me for a second, there bro. He is. Oh, you. You did have a hit. That's a tail. They're down deep. Nice wow, one. dude. Here. Yeah, bucket or should I gab him? Should we gab him? Oh, he's a good one, Steven. Wow, dude, I had a hit and I thought you were messing with me. Dude, you had that. that was it. Might be another one. Get a fish. Hey. Oh, get one hey. well, I was, tra I was trying to record you a little bit. Yeah, I should have brought my gaff. I need to do the video on Chris. Oh my goodness, that's a one. Wow, I had a hit, dude. I am so mad. Oh, there's another one. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Where are you at? Oh, oh he's on the buoy. Move, 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 move. You good? You good? Oh, he's still on the buoy. Hey, wait, you want to Dude, he's all wrapped around. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is he still on there? Think he's still on the buoy? I'm looking, I can't see him. Dude, he was a big one, Josh. It was it was quick. Because I'll do you suck it straight in and like grab it. That was I mean. Get the next one. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Oh. Just don't let him get to the front. I know, I'm over here thinking to myself like, dude, I thought you tapped my rod again. It feels just like that. That's a keeper. Dude, it feels just like that, Josh. I was like, man, he did it again to me. Pay attention to that damn fish. Messing around and keep okay, yeah, oh. we'll this way. That sucks not having a net. I gotta keep one on here. This is gonna be my biggest triple tail. Absolutely. That. I don't know, Josh. Yours was huge. Yeah, it's pretty big. This one was smaller. I think yours. Was, ooh, he is a good fish, though. No net, no problem. Try to flip me, you can. You think you can flip me? Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. He's more. barely hooked. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here. Barely hooked. Can you flip him? If he would have flipped that man, we would have lost him. Ow. Dude, I just hit like my funny bone on my ankle. Funny? No. I never heard of a funny bone in here. Whatever, it hurts like crazy. What is it? Dude. Hang on, we gotta get the good camera out. Why is it? 19 or 18 yeah. and a half? Yeah, 19 ain't good. Yeah. 
Boom. Boom. Told you, darling. Yeah. No, I need a big one. You had a big one. You lost it. No. Yeah, hey, buddy. Captain Steve-O. Look at the fish, man. No ice in there? <laughs> Steve, no. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna throw these three Steve out. Steve, go this little cooler. Oh, I just uh, saw Oh, I had a bite, though. Oh. Exactly what it is. Crypto. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. He's fighting you. Josh has got him a good one. Yahoo! Little doggy. That's a baby. That's a baby triple tail. You want to give me a little picture on the the iPhone? Yeah. But I feel like there's another one on there because. It like, way different. Like whenever they pull it off, like those little ones, I'll just grab the end of that shrimp and then they'll suck the rest of it in. So it's like you feel that little initial. All right, Steven. Hey, Steven. What Show us you... how to uh, fillet a triple tail. Oh. oh. Well, I'll use all the slime off first. That's good. That's good. Cut that fish. Oh, yeah. Grab it. <laughs> you just filled my boot up with water, Steven. Trying to talk. Should have wear some veins. Are they a harder fish to fillet? <clears throat> They're pretty hard with this knife and no that tip on it sucks. Look at that white, white meat, boy. That's what it's about right there. Say now. That's almost as white as hogfish. I gotta admit that last triple tail though that we got beautiful. A lot of meat off that fish. Yeah. Miss a little bit. All right. What did you do? Just... just bypass the belly there? Yeah, because it, like, they're like all ribs. Right? Still ribs. Yeah. Like... All right, guys. So we are now in the kitchen. It's been two days since me and uh, Josh actually caught that triple tail. We took half the fish. Steven took the other half of the fish. This is gonna be the first time I'm trying triple tail, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Let's get in to the ingredients that you're gonna need to cook this fish. Also, this recipe is inspired by Josh. He literally, we get off the water, we're driving home with the filet, and he goes, man, you know what would taste really good with this fish? And I said, what's that? And he said, coconut. I'm cr craving some coconut fish. So he's got us doing this extravagant uh, recipe. Is that him? Come here, come here. <laughs> tell him, tell him you want a coconut shrimp. I want some coconut or, shrimp. Uh, coconut tilapia. No, triple tail. I want some coconut triple tail. <laughs> and, so, and shrimp. This is off stage. He's telling me what to say. And he's got this horrible shirt on. Hey, go Gators! I really do want some. Uh, so some here, tail. here are all of our ingredients. Let's go over them. Alrighty guys, so we got everything laid out here. First thing is, is you got some flour, and we actually have two things of flour, so this is only half of what you're gonna need. And then we got some sugar here, we got salt, we got rum, we got panko breadcrumbs with coconut in them, and then we got some extra coconut, because Josh really wanted that coconut, and we're gonna mix those two together. Then this is your extra flour. This is gonna be uh, for dredging the shrimp and the triple tail. And then we got some oil here that's just gonna go in the pan. All right, and over here we got our triple tail and shrimp. It's in two cups of milk currently. All right, so starting off, we're gonna turn the stove here to medium heat. And then we're gonna take our oil. And we're actually gonna fill up about half of this pan, which will probably be somewhere around uh, four or five cups. 
So this is going to take a couple minutes to heat up. That's going to allow us uh, to pair, prepare our triple tail and shrimp to go in here. So I lied to you guys. We actually just, we didn't measure the milk here, but we do need two cups of this milk. So we're just going to dump it in here and measure out our uh, two cups. All right, so there we got our two cups of milk. So this is where our other ingredients come into play. So we're going to take our rum here. We're going to dump it into our two cups of milk. We're going to whisk that up a little bit. This into the big mixing bowl. Then we're going to take our flour here. Start stirring our flour. Then we're going to take our sugar. Probably want to make sure that flour gets uh, all into the liquid if you can. Then we're going to take our salt. Dump that in there. Alright, so you really want to whisk this really well. Get all your flours off your edge and out, or all the flour off the edge. And then you notice, I don't know if you can notice on the camera, but the texture, it becomes just a little bit, uh, it's more thick, you know, it's not as watery. So now we're gonna let this batter sit for about five minutes. All right, so our pan is still heating up over there. We're gonna take our uh, other flour, put it over here. And we're gonna take our coconut and put it in our uh, breadcrumbs here, and then just mix it all together. All right, guys, so now our pan is ready for our fish. We're gonna take our fish, our filet, Put it in the flour here. Make sure you wash your hands, of course, before you do this. Go ahead and flip it. Make sure you cover all areas of your fish best you can. Probably want to shake that off a little bit. Make sure it it, it depends on how uh, thick you want your crust. Now we're gonna put it in our batter here. One solid dip. Let that run off a little bit. Move it to our coconut flakes. Pop the best you can with your breadcrumbs. Transfer. I didn't actually realize how thick this filet was. All right, guys. So the recipe calls for two to three minutes. Ooh, no, it's gonna be hard. I was gonna use that fork. So we're gonna try and flip this fish here. Damn, that actually looks delicious. It's probably been on there for a minute and a half now. Put some more. Now, fish. You know, every fish is pretty quick. This being a, a thicker fillet, we're gonna let it simmer for a little bit longer. For your thinner fish, you're probably going to want to shorten your time. Eyeball it, you know? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and transport this to the done side. Oh, that's what I do not want to have. Darn it. Okay, we'll scoop this out. Uh, all right. Go ahead. We're gonna squeeze lemon on it. Ah! That's my good. That's a whole tilap. Or why do I keep calling that a triple tail? <laughs> That's a whole <laughs> tilap. Well, Josh is gonna take our first bite. Y'all ain't even a bit into this yet. No, it just came off that pan. You're probably gonna burn yourself. <laughs> I'm the life of this party, guys. I'm here. Mm. This is what you wanted. Man, that's good. It's real good. All right, guys. So this is our finished fillet of triple tail. It looks kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie, but that's because it's extremely flaky. The fish was never frozen. It's just it's falling apart on us. Daddy. We got a little. Shh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's Josh's baby over there. They're eating some uh, fish and shrimp as well. Josh's wife made us this little sauce here. All the ingredients for the sauce are gonna be in the description box below, but we're gonna take a little bit of that, put it on the fish. I'm gonna take me a nice bite, give you guys my uh, official taste test review. First time having triple tail. It's awesome. <laughs> it really is. It's super flaky. My favorite fish is hogfish. Absolutely delicious as you can see on my necklace there. I got a hogfish. I love hogfish. But this is right there up next to it. Flaky, soft, tastes good. The sauce is amazing. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Say subscribe. Say, tell them to subscribe. Did you guys like the fish? No. Me no. no. Yes. yes. You better Me like it. No, it's been it out. It's been it out. Wow, you guys are terrible. Tell them to subscribe to Chris's channel. Subscribe and daddy's channel and Chris's channel. Oh, you are so high five.